A rare sight in football, but Burundi's Lydian Sekera is a rare character too, the only female head of a national football association, and now the first female member of FIFA's powerful executive committee. Nsekera was elected last month at FIFA's 63rd Congress. To her admirers, it was another milestone in an extraordinary career. For Nsekera, though, it was a defining moment. When I heard the results at Congress, two things came to mind, Burundi, then my mother. This is because my mother practically raised me when my father was imprisoned until I was 30 years old. Embracing the unknown is often difficult. And so when Lydia Nsekera, an economics graduate, was approached to run for the presidency of Burundi's football association, she battled with the idea. Until then, she had played a key role in developing women's football. In Africa, women are often behind men, and naturally I was afraid. This was different. I told them if you front me as a candidate, then we will not gain a single vote. But they were of a contrary opinion. I told them no. Three days later, they were back at my door and I told them, you're crazy. You are crazy, man. Finally accepted, but on condition that those who won't work get kicked out. When Sekera took over in 2004, Burundian football was in disarray, thanks to squabbling among administrators and FIFA sanctions. Since then, Nsekera has given it direction and stability. Supporters credit her firm leadership. She says the secret is in ensuring everything is done above board. After the war, players had abandoned the country for Rwanda, DRC, and when I came in, my objective was to ensure we begin competing in tournaments and to make the player transfer process easy for our players. She says the issue of gender was never a factor. Your position helps people see the kind of leader and person you are. And if I had thought of myself as a woman first, then that would be all the men would see. I am a football administrator first, then the rest follows. There's plenty of work still to do. Football remains seriously underfunded in Burundi. And observers say Nsekara cannot fix things alone. When a woman gets to such a position in football, it's not by luck, but because she knows her trade. The FA president, however, can't bring change alone and needs the government's help. 2013 is an election year for Burundi FA. 46-year-old Nsekera is hoping for another four years. But she says after that, someone else must take up the mantle. For the next four years, the spotlight will be on Lydia Nsekera as she takes her place at FIFA's high table. Now, opinion is varied on the exact expectations, both from Burundians and Africa at large. But she only hopes for one thing, that she can leave a legacy which will inspire women not only to take up roles in sports administration, but also leadership roles in different sectors. Celestine Karone, CCTV, Bujumbura, Burundi.